You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Canari mage, a personal pet to mock Canari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Alright, Aveline likes this. Dump a bunch into Constitution. To increase physical damage. Mighty blows now crush enemies who a mage has made brittle. Mm. I don't know that she's she can make anyone brittle. Oh. So if I focus on ice, she can stack brittle. And then I can go this route. 300% damage versus Brittle. 200% knockdown versus Brittle. I also wanted to go Vanguard route. I guess we'll continue with bait and switch for now. Go to the Magister's Mansion in Hightown at night. Big old fight. Right, my sister.
Damage resistance plus 5%. Resistant to all types of damage. So that's just all damage resist 5%. That's really good. And it's passive. Psh, easy. Uh, Vernus's experimental draft. Whoever consumes this elixir gains greater mastery over the body's potential. Attribute points plus 2. I don't understand. Is this permanent? Does this increase all my attributes by two? Or do I get two attribute points to spend how I want? That's interesting. Huh. All right. Uh, high town at night. I'll do it. Night, High Town. So you leveled up. Abilities. Put some constitution into you. You're a little squishy, my friend. level 9. I need to do some adjustments to this stuff. Um, she's currently not casting ice, but she's going to be really... Uh, it's going to be very beneficial to turn ice on for her. So let's say enemy... Highest, oh wait, no, 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 here we go, enemy. Uh, 
target of party member Hawk. Use Winner's Grasp. Here we go. Let's do that. That way she'll brittle them. And then some of my attacks will affect that. No one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Denarius may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Denarius. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. He may have prepared some magical defenses. They will not keep me from him. I'm gonna assume he's a rogue? No, he's a warrior. Interesting. Sorry, Aveline. Denarius, show yourself! Bro, don't do that. Four ability points. What do you have on you right now, dude? A great sword. What if I turned you into... I'm gonna have to look up Avernus's experimental draft. See how that works. I'm... Interested in turning this guy into Envative Fugitive? Not taunt. Oh, he has three ability points. Jeez. Okay. I'm curious to turn this guy into dual weapons, like two one-handed weapons. You. Aggressive. Go scrapper. Someone's left a surprise here for us. Uh. I love doing that.
sends spirits to do his fighting for him. Daenerys, can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us. Bro, shut up. Why are you letting him know we're here? Stop it. Where we came in. Oh, sorry. I'm used to be you being on another number there. We're good to A ruined staff. Oh, that's way better. All right. Can we rearrange? We cannot. Okay. Ring of Pearls.
to look at our things here. Battle axe. This belt is plus 15 attack. Mine is mana or stamina regen rate. The string of pearls. Health and enemies drop more coins. Hmm. Let's do that for now. We'll give him additional attack. I also got the key to the Magister's Chambers, which is good. Save there. better. Gone. I had hoped... <sighs> no, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. Okay. Aha. Chanted staff, Slaver Lord's Cowl. Eighteen fire damage with an additional plus twenty percent fire damage. Uh, I think I'd like electricity damage. That way, I cast fire and ice, and my thing does electricity, so it's like a triple. Requires sixteen magic. I don't think I'm ever gonna have sixteen magic. That's not for me. Well, it is for me, but it's not for my class. Alright, sick. That went pretty well, all things considered. Fenris is a pretty powerful dude. I like him. It never ends. 
I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of even more mages. You can speak to me directly. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. You harbor a viper in your midst. It will turn on you and strike when you least expect. That is in its nature. My sister is stronger than you think. You tell him, brother. I'm not blind. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. But even the best-intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. And then, their power is a curse to inflict upon others. No one's stopping you from moving on, you know. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Perhaps you can find a way to pay him back. I will pay him back, in blood. You have no idea what he's done to me. What I went through just to get away. I was only trying to help you. That was unworthy of me. The truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay, but I doubt that matters any longer. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Okay, so let's... Let's return to my tank group for now. Because he's kind of me. So that does kind of limit my ability to use him. But I'm sure I'll have need of him in certain situations. Side quest companions. Find Fenris, he's staying at Daenerys' abandoned high town mansion. Alright, let's go do it. Grigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. 
My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. You were his servant as well as his bodyguard. I was his slave. I propped up the furniture when he was so inclined. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage is here. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. <laughs> it turned out well enough. It did at that. I will not keep you longer. Another time, perhaps. I like his voice, man. I like that voice actor. He's friendly. Okay, that's good. Fenris recruited. Completed. Don't worry about side quests right now. Alright, cool. Okay. We should go to Dark Town and work on tranquility. Let's go to Dark Town at night. I don't think I've been there at night before. Didn't even need to mute for that. It's a good episode. <laughs> it just hits all the right notes, you know? Oh, yeah. Exactly. 
What was your first? Yesterday's Enterprise. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Also a solid choice. Yeah. Place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pancelot. <laughs> he hated the deep roads. This guy seems familiar. Was he in Origins? You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Road. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes, I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn. And a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Help my expedition reach the deep roads, and I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms. What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Is that what you ask? You decide. I have a Warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Fekler. He was sent here from Ferelden, when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cell, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andras they said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. Forcing mages into servitude is not the way to prevent the rise of another Imperium. That's not usually the response I get. Perhaps we will work together better than I expected. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. 
I had been exchanging... Then the letters stopped coming. What do the Templars know? I... Then the letters stopped coming. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Make a willing he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we need to go to Hightown. Does it matter if it's at day or night? It does. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Holy water. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. No! You will never take another mage as you took him! What? And what do we got here? The lieutenant.
I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But... It's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no! Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> we should leave before more Templars come. No, the loot! Damn it. I hate when games do that. That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. This spirit sounds like a useful friend to have. He was far better to me than I have been to him. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But... I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. Gross. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that? I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Can Justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness. A frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Is there anything I can do for you? You're the first one I've ever told this. Thank you for not running away. My maps are yours, as am I if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens, but if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. Okay, Anders, level 8 mage.
Um, all right, let's play around with my party for a minute. Let's go. Let's look at these two. He also has healing, but he has vengeance. Primal, what is primal? Also has elemental. She has arcane and spirit. He has arcane and spirit. Healing and entropy. He has healing and primal. Okay, so it's a, it's an exchange of entropy for primal, and then I also get vengeance. Out. Five ability points. Holy crap. This is a healer. Okay. We're going to confirm that. We're going to go into the healing tree. So heal. Heroic aura. Valiant aura. So he is going to be a he's he's primarily a healer focused character. And I'll focus him on Man, he is really good. What does he have over here? Mind Blast. Physical Force times six. Threat Reduction. So it removes hostile attention. And he also has Winner's Grasp. Ninety percent cooldown for all spells. Holy shit. He doesn't do any fire damage, so let's take that off of her. That onto him. And then we'll give her the fire staff. Sorry, sister. What is his stats? 24 magic. Oh. 
18 willpower. We need to give him some constitution, though. So on his next level... Okay. We're just gonna sit my sister down. Yeah. We're gonna go like that. Go to him. It's gonna be a... Well, there was a supporter, but it's gone now. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, is my mind blast must be a radial thing? Okay. We're gonna go a ranged healer for him. Okay. Damn, son. He needs health, though. We gotta get him some health. Alright. Questions and answers. Talk to Varric at the Hangman's Pub. Okay. I can do that. I hear good things about you, Anders. Not what I expected. From a mage, you mean? I didn't say that. How else would you judge me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Fereldans lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... have a fair point. Alright. Is it up here? I already forgot the quest. Mark is active. Low town at the pub. I've always wondered, why is every surface... Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order. But he wouldn't listen. You hear, Dark? Rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce <laughs> and utterly without pity that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Okay. Simple enough. Now I can go to the gallows. Okay, let's go to the low town. What? Just one.
wondering if the feathered pauldrons are an essential part of the moody rebel mage persona. Restriction, okay. That's all that. What are you talking about? I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly defeat. What do you mean, well, can't who? possibly defeat? Well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. What? What? You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay. I think that's as good a time as any to save for the night. 